Channel 4, the local station. Well, some people might turn to supplements looking for some skin health, but do they really work? A doctor joins us next to weigh in. So most people want their skin to look younger, right? Healthy, have that beautiful glow. It's important to take care of your skin, obviously. One option to look into is supplements. Do they work? Which one should you take? Which one should you avoid? Joining me this morning with what you need to know is Dr. Calpana de Pasquale. Good morning to you. Thank morning. you for being here. You. It's interesting because I, I'll, I'll admit I am a little weary of supplements because they're not FDA approved. Mm -hmm. I don't know a whole lot about the ingredients in supplements, so I kind of stay away from them. But are there ones that you can take that can actually be good for your skin? Well, there can. Now, supplements are pretty unregulated, and that's yeah. why you're saying, you know, the FDA doesn't really regulate, and so you really just have to find supplements with a company that you trust that's mm -hmm. using an FDA facility, has ingredients you can trust, because there is a lot to know. You almost need, like, a biochemistry degree to really understand right. how all these little things work together. But the nice thing is there are some skin supplements that can be helpful. Again, there's not a lot of research on this, but I feel like if it's not harmful and it could be helpful, might as well. Hey, exactly, <laughs> if it's not going to hurt you. So what kinds of things, then, should we look for? For in supplements when it comes to, to having healthy skin? So one of the big things, um, everybody's heard about antioxidants, yes. right? So there is a theory about aging called the free radical theory. So what, what we propose is happening is that inside of us, our bodies are, you know, being exposed to chemicals, yeah. environmental stress, emotional stress, <laughs> right. smoking, UV yeah. rays, and all that. So what that does inside the body is it creates free radicals, and free radicals are just unpaired electrons. So when they don't have something to pair to, they just kind of rampantly run all around the body, creating havoc to our cells. And on a cellular level, that's what starts to break down your skin. So the theory is that by giving your body antioxidants, that it will pair that, that random electron and just really prevent it from attacking the body cells and, you know, keeping you looking younger for long. So then when you're in, because, you know, you go to the health, I've got one in my neighborhood, I go, and there is this just, there's all these bottles on the shelves, and you're like, oh, okay, I don't know, is it vitamin D, is it, <laughs> so, does it, do any of them say antioxidant on it? How do you know, is there a certain name that you should specifically look for? Well, vitamin C is a okay. very powerful antioxidant, and there's a, there are a lot of them. Vitamin A is also a very powerful antioxidant. Grape seed extracts, there's always new ones that are coming out on the market that people will talk about. And, you know, again, there's not a lot of research that supports this, but, you know, to me, the theory makes sense, and I do believe that we're not really getting as much of our nutritional value from our food just because of poor farming techniques and pesticides that are being utilized. I just truly believe that our food isn't as nutritious and, and agricultural data supports this. Over the years our nutritional value of our foods is declining. So I feel like if I can add something to my body to keep it functioning at optimal levels, I'm all about it. But that's a personal decision I think for most people. Well, but I think that particularly working moms, I mean, I know that sometimes I, maybe only twice a day you just get busy, you don't realize it. So it's not a bad idea. It sounds like to supplement because you may not be getting what you need. I try to take vitamin C every night before I go to bed just because I, I, I tend to get run down since I don't sleep a lot and this way kind of boosts my immune system. Yes, and it's important, you know, the supplements are, can be effective, but a lot of supplements don't really have what's in the bottle on the label and there's oh. a lot of discrepancy. There was actually a, a sting back in New York uh, years ago and they pulled everything off the shelves and found that, you know, with DNA testing, very little of what was on the label was actually in the product. So you just have to find a, a reputable place and reputable supplements, I feel they are effective if you're actually getting what you're supposed to in the proper form, in a whole food form, not a, a synthetic form. That makes a big difference. So what do you use then for skin health? I use, um, you know, I definitely use vitamin B7, which is bi uh, which is biotin, helps with the scar uh, with uh, skin, hair, and nails. Um, I also do a lot of vitamin C, vitamin A, grapeseed extract. And also, you know, there are all these minerals too that are supposed to be good for you, like selenium, copper, zinc, kind of help with the elasticity of the skin and supporting um, and preventing damage and things like that. You usually find that in a multivitamin too. So multivitamins are tough because they have yeah. a lot of binders and fillers. So a lot of okay. multivitamins get stuck in your intestine, which isn't yeah. great. So it really, you know, it's, it's like a whole degree in and of <laughs> itself. It's crazy. Yeah. I know I'm probably confusing everybody. No, more you just than have I to, to be. <laughs> plan on spending more time in the health food store and ask a lot of questions, exactly. not only of the folks that work there, but also of your doctor. Exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate you. your insight. And of course, if you missed any of this interview, you can watch it later this morning on News for Jax.com, just look under the morning show page. Now, let's